biodiversity work at Disney Loco Key at Lighthouse Point is very unique. We are working with nature for nature to inform us on what it needs to thrive. My name is Pachancia Knowles. I grew up in Nassau, Bahamas. To me, the Bahamas represents home. The Bahamas represents diversity, culture, and me. I did my undergrad in marine biology. It was always my dream to come back home because I love the Bahamas. I love home and we have things that need to be changed. And I always think that instead of always complaining, you can also be the change that you want to see. This Disney Cruise Line destination, Disney Lookout Key, is one that is unique in terms of the efforts that we're making to support the environment. For example, our bird banding work that we're doing. We are hoping that it'll help us to understand the movements of certain residential species of birds, as well as migratory species of birds. And this is actually going to couple in with our terrestrial wildlife surveys that we do monthly. My name is Bradley Watson. I'm the conservation program manager here for Disney in the Bahamas. One of the most important pieces of data that we can collect is on the diversity. So how many different species of birds we maintain on the site. And the next most important piece of data for us is on the health of these birds. And so we want to find out, you know, are they doing well here? And that is influenced not just by our activities, but by things like drought. And so we really want to know species diversity and health. Working with Pachansi is not just fulfilling on a personal level because of connection that we have, having worked together in the past, but at the same time, it's just gratifying to know that there are two local Bahamians with the ability to represent the environment and to integrate this operation with the local ecosystems and the local culture. Our goal is to do as much education as possible so that people find entertainment and enjoyment in the natural habitats at Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. I've been able to do a lot more diving, a lot of research with scuba diving and marine monitoring to ensure that the corals are healthy, still doing well, to understand the fish population and density and to understand if we need to intervene and have a plan to support biodiversity. Coral replenishment would be ideal and would benefit a lot of marine life on the reef by providing food, providing shelter for various juvenile species because a lot of our coral reefs are nursery grounds for various marine life. We have to maintain these coral nurseries and limit the amount of algae growing on them. And we do that by cleaning them. And with our line nurseries, because there's a limited amount of surface area, because it's just this line and the coral hanging from it, we only have to go in and clean every six months. So this is just the start of our work in conservation because we have so much work to do to support our natural resources. And I believe that there's more to come and there's more to include various young Bahamians in the future to know that they too can be where I am at. So that's very encouraging for me.